Hello friends, hope you all doing great. This is your tutor Harry. Today I again came back with a new video that is binary division. For that, first of all, let's have a brief understanding about the binary arithmetic. As we already know that computer data is stored in the form of 0 and 1. And we need to perform operations on the zeros or 1 like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. These operations that we need to perform on our binary digits is called binary arithmetic. Okay, so whenever we perform any arithmetic operation on these binary numbers, the result also comes in the form of zeros and ones. Okay, so for the detailed understanding about the addition, subtraction or multiplication, kindly have a look at my another video having detailed description about that. For you, I am giving a link in the description of this video. So friends, without wasting much of the time, let's start with the another topic that is your binary division. For binary division, there will be only two digits that is either 0 or 1. So look here, x divided by y is equal to we get the result. What sort of result? So if 0 is divided by 1, we get result 0. And if 1 is divided by 1, we get result 1. So how we are going to do this? Let's have a look at the example in the another slide. So friends, binary division is probably the hardest of four basic arithmetic operations. So in this video, I will tell you how to solve the division problem of binary numbers step by step. For that, you need to understand the long division pattern that we follow in our decimal number system. Look here, this pattern is called long division pattern. As in decimal number division, we will follow this pattern. Keep the dividend inside and divisor outside which will divide the dividend and we will get the quotient here on which the number going to be divided and if there are any reminder left then we will place it here after subtraction. Okay, so let's proceed with the another slide in which I will dictate you each step of division how we are going to solve binary bits in division pattern. So let's see how this works. So divide into the first two bits of your dividend with the device. Now check. Is it less than or equal to the two bits in the divisor that is 1 0? You can see 1 0 bit is equivalent to the dividend bit 1 0. So we will place the quotient here as 1. And what comes here? 1 0 comes down. Okay. So the question is if the bits in the dividend is not less than or equal to your divisor bits then what you will do you need to place the quotient 0 here okay so this one is your next step i will tell you how it will works so as of now what we will do we will subtract these two terms from each other after subtraction what we get 0 minus 0 is your 0 and 1 minus 1 is your 0 so as a reminder, we get nothing because your 1 0 bit is equivalent to 1 0. After subtraction we get 0 0. We will move to the third bit. Which one is your third bit? Third bit is your 1. We will bring this third bit down to form a number 0 0 1. So now again we are going to check whether the bit 1 0 divide into bit 1 so your answer is no it is too small so we need to place 0 in the quotient and we progress to the fourth bit from the 
left hand side so which one is your fourth bit this zero is your fourth bit from the left hand side now what we will do we will bring it down so it becomes your number 0 0 1 0 so this one is your number that forms so with the two bits to work at this point we divide what we divide 10 bit into 0 0 1 0 bit these two are your leading zeros these can be ignored so your number is 1 0 so this bit is equivalent to the bits of your divisor so what we will do we will place here 1 we get 1 0 so what we will do we will need to subtract both of them so as a reminder what we get 0 minus 0 is your 0 and 1 minus 1 is your 0 if the result of the last subtraction you got is 0 which is here as shown so then your division is complete no further division is possible now because as a result you get the reminder 0 0 so friends let's move towards another slide i am providing one more example for your understanding so have a look on that so friend this is my last example look here how i am going to calculate this as i told you in the previous example first of all you have to look add the number of bits in your divisor there are two bits in your divisor so you have to pick only first two bits from the dividend part then you need to check whether the bits in the dividend is equal to or less than your divisor if yes so here in the condition if yes you need to place one as a quotient so one will be your quotient and what comes here 11 wants the 11 after that you need to subtract both of them so after subtraction you get result 0 0 here as reminder but you can look here more digits in the dividend are left so what you need to do bring down the next bit from the dividend part which is 1 now again what you will do you will check if this number is smaller than or less than your divisor part so you will record 0 in your quotient part then again we will check for the another digit so we will repeat this process until we have a number here is larger than your divisor so 1 is smaller than your 1 1 bit so that means what we need to do in the next step we need to move down the another bit that is 0. So your number becomes 1 0. Now again we will check is 1 0 is less than or equal to your divisor. Yes it becomes less than your divisor part. Again we need to proceed further with bringing down the next digit because this number we get is smaller than the divisor. So, we have to move forward till we get the number here larger than your divisor part. So, what we do here, again I am going to bring down the third and last bit that is your 1. So, your number becomes 1, 0, 1. Now, check whether this number we got is smaller or equal to or larger than your divisor part. Yes, it is larger. 1, 0, 1 is larger than your divisor part so here 0 0 are the leading 0 that can be ignored okay so your bit will be 1 0 1 so what we will do whenever this number going to be larger than your divisor part we are going to place in the divisor 1 okay so what comes here 1 1 comes here so after that what we need to do we need to subtract both of them 1 is your 0 after that what we will do this 0 and 1 this is your borrow case what we will do we will take one borrow from here and it becomes the number 1 0 1 0 minus 1 is your 1 so as a reminder what we get 1 0 so look here no more digits are in the dividend part and 1 0 is your smaller 
number then your divisor so we have to stop this process till here so what result we get we get the result 1 0 1 as your quotient and 1 0 as your remainder hope friend you like my video if you find any difficulty in calculating or in solving the division problem so kindly message me in the comment box i am looking forward to your valuable comments it would be really appreciable if you kindly uh, share subscribe or like my channel meet you in the next video so till then take care bye bye